we have to go back. Now I have to do the stupid Peach mission. I hate Peach so much. She's a goddamn useless character and no one even likes it. I don't get why she's in the game, man. She can't do shit. She's a piece of worthless ass. Back, 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 back. She's a Mac. And I can't rap. And there, I thought you were gentle and delicate. Oh, I... I am delicate. No, you're not, you dirty whore. I'm waving a delicate princess. You're a dirty, cheating, tussy, score, fucking skank, retard, bitch, blonde, retard, dumb, whore, fucking, stupid, god. Oh, I hate you. I had to get that out. Oh my god, so now Princess Peach is all like, we're gonna have to go on an adventure because you just love playing as me, don't you? And I'm like, no. No one likes playing as you, Peach. Literally, literally no one. I mean, it's it's a good change of pace, but Peach, you're just, you're the worst character ever. You have nothing going for you. You get kidnapped, like, every day. So in here, this is a chest room. So it's connected to some of the Mushroom Kingdom. So if we put badges in here and stuff and items in here, uh, Mario can get it if he goes to Merlis. So we can put the Power Rush. And the deep focus in there. Putting those in in case I forget to put in more. So anytime we can go to Merlis, we can open that chest and just grab those. Whoa! Hey. So that's one way the Peach interludes affect the game. Also, where the fat guy was. so weird now. I'm like jamming the A button trying to jump his peach, but it just won't jump. Ooh. Locked. So we went in the kitchen. Let's go up this way. If we go in here, then we can go to Bomb Mom. What is it? Bomb Mom Summit? No, from Super Mario 64. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's Princess Peach. How'd she get out? King Buzz is really gonna flip through his wig <laughs> if he doesn't take her back to her room. Peach is like, wait, Bowser wears a wig? And then the other guy's like, yeah, where's, where's the wig? You didn't know? And he's like, oh, I didn't know. I mean, where did he get the wig? And then they talk about the wig for like 10 minutes. And he's like, hang on a sec, get on your grip on yourself. No need to panic. She can get out of the castle anyway. And besides, what do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? Ooh. She'd be ideal when you're third person. Hmm, yeah, yes. I mean, she might be on something. Okay, let's do it. Princess Peach, have you been this way? Listen, come on. We won't tell King Bowser if you escape if you play the little game we're playing. We're set up right over here. Oh no, Princess Peach. Cooper Corpse presents the 64th, get it, Nintendo 64, Trivia quiz -off. I'm your host, Mr. Hammer. Peach like, fuck, how do I get it? What's going on? Let's get it right. Do it, do it. Hey, I'm going to ask you 10 questions. The contestant who gets the most right is our winner. This is one of the actual ones I like. This one's kind of cool. Press. This is one of the peach and That is clue. All right. The winner will get you a gorgeous, fabulous prize. And when I got to tell you, I was giving prizes for the participating. So just everyone's a winner. Ready? Question one. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano on Lava Island? Um, Goompa? <laughs> no, it's Lava Prime. <laughs> That's correct. Let's go into the next question. Okay, folks. Question two. Would it mask? Oh, what? But I knew that one. Oh, let's see. That's they. They tell you that. So they're kind of giving away stuff because you know how the whole Peach and Lou tell you where to go in the next game because you know that's how you. It's not making it obvious. It's telling you. It's giving you subtle hints. So you're like, uh, I don't know. So like that. That's like a sequelitis thing. I don't know. We talk about that. Question three. What is the next one of Jersey Monster? Driven Monster, Driven and Drive Drive I didn't even read it all, but I know it's Chomp. You've still got a chance to make a comeback. But question four. How do you get to Flower Fields? I know. Um, by passing through the Flower Gate. Ooh. So we gotta pass through the Flower Gate to get to Flower Fields. The Master Huffenpuff is holding. Master Huffenpuff's a boss, too. He's just fun. He's such an awesome boss. I love him. Question five. What is the name? What? Oh god, how did Peach, how did you not get that? Careful now, question six. What's most, held most deeply in flower, flower fields? Flower? I thought that was retarded. 
Next question is one, folks. Question seven. What's the name of the admirable, invincible guy? Mario. Oh. Stupid. Think carefully now. Who's the name of the ghost who lives in Forever Forever Forest? Blues. I'm not even reading old questions so I can beat the guy. He's gonna this one. What's the name of the area just to the south of the post office in town town? Just south? Of the post office. Well, Flower Garden is sort of south. Yeah. It's still in the same area though. Now for the final question. Stay calm, everyone. Question 10. Where's Princess Peach's Castle now? Fourth East Shiver City. We have to go to Shiver City too. On Bowser's Castle. Wow, I destroyed that competition. Yeah, so the 64 trivia quiz has ended in great success. The winner is, wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Congratulations, she's your prize. Jam and Jelly. So you can actually lose that and still get a prize. She's your prize for a sneaky parasol. Fabulous parasol giving you. Use it B to clone a person. Oh shit, we can't use it. God damn it. But now we got a jam and jelly which we can put in the chest and give to Mario. Princess Peach like, um, yeah, we've already finished all of all the rotten ones. Princess Peach, what's she doing here? She sneaked out again, huh? No! She was having so much fun. Bowser's perception must be really high for her to sneak out enemies like that. I'm retarded. Yay! Ooh, whoa, it's me, my beautiful treasure. Listen to you, retards. No treasure in the world is more valuable than your life. Be thankful you escaped. Aw, do you think this island was put in a terrible peril because of meddling of Bowser's men? I think it'll work out just okay. The eruption will subside and lava lava and will be just the same as it used to be. But, sorry. Get all of your stuff, man. Team Mario, you have to save five of us. Star Spirits, just a few more to go. My name is Miss Star. Let me grant you the power that will help you along. So her power heals 20 HP. So it's not as good as Refresh, but I mean, it costs like three. It's really useful. I mean, if you have, if you had 20 HP, I'm not going to be using it so I don't even have 20 HP. I'd be better off with Refresh. Oh, I was so close to treasure right there, and then to get saved by a starfish. <laughs> so now that... that Thing that bounced out was a treasure, so we gotta go find that for a good buddy. Ooh, we have five. Now we have the purple one, which is cool. We are progressing along quite nicely. You can go that way, and it might be faster, I don't know. There's two things though. We gotta go grab that flower from the star spirits. Since to get into flower fields, we need four flowers. The seeds that we've been collecting all along. Is there a way I can view those? Yes, magical seed one. Really, I only have one? What the hell? I could have sworn I had more than that. Well, I'm about to get another one. Oh, I didn't get the one in Forever Forest. Shit. Well, we're going back in Forever Forest this episode to get that one. I think I can finally put on that badge where I can just walk into enemies. Volcano Vase. I don't know how a vase was held in there. Um, maybe it's made from Volcano Glass. That'd be pretty cool. So now I have to go back to Forever Forest. I'll put on that badge where I can just jump on enemies and just get away with it. It's a uh, why did I jump on that? It's actually relatively quick. We can get that in like two or three minutes. I don't know why I missed that last time. Yeah. Oh, we gave it to Colorado. So maybe we can make a trade for the magical seed for the vase. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully Colorado will trade the vase for the seed, which is a terrible trade by Mario. He can just beat the shit out of Colorado then take the seed. I mean, really, I mean, what's Colorado gonna do? He's a bitch. He just beat a giant piranha plant. He's walking in a base. 
Good heavens, is this shit you're having earth? Well, I suppose there's an awful consequence. Now you're giving it to me? Um, you're the, you're the cat's meow. Yes, I suppose you can take this. Alright, I'm going home. He's he's probably going to go back to Toad Town, too. Uh, there's not much we can do here now. I mean, we can sell items. We can come up here, talk to the ravens. Uh, I don't really want to sell any items. So that was Lava Lava Island. We have a lot of levers we need to deliver for star pieces. There's not any badges I'm in particular right now, so I'm not going to go do that right now. Right now, I, I'm pr pretty close to ending off this recording session, which doesn't matter to you, really, I guess. But it matters to me. And I think I'm just going to go get the rest of the seeds and set us up so right when the next episode, or right my next session, we can just straight up start um, the next chapter, chapter 6. Flower Fields, which is another one of my favorite chapters. Well, I like all the chapters. I don't like chapter 2 that much. Chapter 1 is kind of boring, too. Chapter 3 is when it gets good. Oh god, not this dude. Wheeze, wheeze. Yes, I cough. I just swam all the way. <laughs> so this retard, he swims all the way here to fight Mario. And then we just leave. So now, now he has to swim back. You think that'd make him like really yoke? Like he'd be in super good shape and he'd be like 100 HP. He'll probably be tired though. I mean, he'll probably not be tired. He's like, shit, shit, shit. Oh, god damn, why would I do this? He swims up fast, so oh, Jesus Christ. This is the best doggy paddle I've ever seen. It's an eggy paddle, get it? <laughs> Everyone's like, you're not funny! Sushi, you look so goddamn happy. Holy shit. Thank heavens we've arrived. Now turn of ferreting is one's their experience. I shan't do again. Alright, douche. Cheers for the ride, though. I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Cuba Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, old boy. And they will cross again in the future. Douche. But my controller stick was locked. I couldn't walk away. Woo! You're a pretty good swimmer, bro. Wheeze, wheeze, wheeze. I will never swim again for the rest of my life. Now I'm alright, you're mine this time. Ah! Wheeze, wheeze, wheeze. Here it comes, you better be ready. So his power, you can we can literally see his power drop. There's all the swimming he did, so now he only has 20 HP. Oh, he's like us, he's making up for his low HP. So he's flying, unless we have the spike now, we can't hit him. Pretty genius if you ask me, so I guess we're gonna have to try to get him on the ground. How'd you do that? <laughs> like this. Smooch. We could do chill out, but I'd rather just do star swim on him. He's like, yeah, I'm the most useful star spirit, you know, bitch. I got no other Oh, that one's kind of hit him. So he's at 13. Oh Jesus, how do you do that much damage? I'm gonna finish him off this turn anyway. See, I had 20 HP. Damn, 5 HP though, he's pretty strong. Shit. Oh, we're at 24 star points already. We're gonna have so much FP, it's gonna be ridiculous. Oh, you know what? I think now that I think about it, I have wings. If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP. I'd probably be done playing Mario in no time. Stupid, 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 stupid. Ow. 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 Mario, why would you do that? Just beat your enemies senseless. Mario's like, oh, I don't really give a fuck. I mean, do you give a fuck? And then he's like, oh, well, no, 